Hello, it is Angie at Dazzled by Vintage Etsy Shop and Treasured Vintage YouTube channel. Coming to you with more of that big giant vintage jewelry haul that I got. So I have the whole box right here. The whole box full of different items to show you again. So, uh, I am out on my porch hoping to have a better signal, better lighting, and uh, I hope you enjoy what you see. So, I don't know if I can see your comments or not, but this is one of the items that I got. Uh, I don't know what kind of stone this is, but it's really interesting necklace, long chain. Uh, on here, there's a little cool hang tag that has a little actually a little stone on it hi Lydia how are you I liked your picture the other day um, got to see you uh, real nice there on Facebook this says Lindell New York and it has a little tiny stone in it so um, that's a pretty neat necklace I like it so that was in there these shield type earrings and they're pierced. They were there. And these, I, I don't know why, but um, there's a lot of this kind of stuff in there in baggies. And why in the world? I think they're like artisan made. Hey, Tanya, thank you. I just did them. Uh, thank you. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I don't know why, but these are marked $50 on the back. Now, why would that be? I have no idea. But they're marked $50. <laughs> Someone made them, I guess, and thought they were worth $50. Hi, Sherry. How you doing, honeybee? <laughs> um, yeah, they thought they were worth $50. Now, I don't know what... I'm not sure what the material is that, they, that this is right here. But, um, yeah, there's quite a few of these kind of artisan-made type of earrings. There's some purple ones. There's some, some like this. They're kind of cool. They're 80s type, I guess. I guess they're 80s. Could be like 90s. I don't know. There was quite a few of those. These I was excited to find. These were marked cr uh, Kramer on the back. Hmm, maybe they are super old. I don't think they're super old. I don't think they are. They look 80s to me, but I'm not... You know, they, I guess they could be 70s. I'm not sure. But these are marked... Um, yeah, they're marked Kramer on the back, so... So I was... The first when I saw them, I thought, these aren't, you know, super special, but... I, I don't know that I even have any Kramer signed things, so those are neat. I just like the way they look, too. I like the design of them. And then there's this, a black um, glass necklace that kind of matches, but although it's not signed, but it's vintage. Tell by the clasp. Tell by the clasp there. And... Here's a real old pendant. I think it's probably silver plate, and I don't know what the stone is. That's one thing I need to study. That's a good brand. I know. I know. Creamer is good. Um, this looks like silver plate to me. It'll look good on a nice, like, rope chain or something, which I'm sure I can find. In fact, there was some, of, some in the lot that I can put it with. Here's a cool pendant that is... Um, it's got a Scorpio, a scorpion on it. It's for, it's a, what do you call those? Ah, uh, Zodiac, a Zodiac pendant. You probably can't see for the light, but yeah, it's pretty neat. It's definitely a vintage pendant. Um, I guess I'll clean that up some. And... This was in a bag. 
This actually says it's from S S the Swarovski Company. Right there. Um, oh, no, it says made with Swarovski elements. So that is not, that does not indicate that it's a S Swarovski Company piece. Um, just because it's made with Swarovski elements. Um, but... So, yeah, it's Koplik. She's been making glass and brass jewelry since 1982. So it's glass and brass. It's pretty. It's a well, well-made piece, I guess. Oh, it's got a little cartouche on the back. That's always good. If I can get it out of there without breaking it. See, that's good. And Koplik Designs. Well, that ought to be worth something. So, I have to look that up, put it back in the bag. It's a really beautiful day here. I, I decided not to, uh, is the wind, do you hear wind noise? It says very bad connection on my phone. I thought I'd come out here because I thought, well, where can I get a good t connection around here? I thought, well, let me try the front porch. This is signed Carol Lee. People collect mushrooms, so I thought that would be that would be a nice one. This is an old pin. I think it's yeah. I think it's it's signed Coro. You like that? You like that one? I love the old enameled pins, although I don't think they. They don't go for as much as they should, but, um, yeah, it's pretty, isn't it? I think they should go for more, but I like that. I like these big honking earrings. Big earrings sell good for me. Actually, that's like, they're like studs that have this bead attached to them, so I don't know if that was like if somebody just put that on there or what the deal is there but I will leave it on there like that because they'll probably sell better like that super cute yeah they are aren't they I like I like the looks of them I like the cap on the top and the spun gold looking look at them look to them here's a cute little um, book pendant locket. So that'll be nice on a chain. If I can find an old looking chain to put it on. Need some cleaning up on the back. It's just gold tone, but it's pretty. These are marked uh, sterling silver and bronze earrings. They're nice. I might have showed, shown those before. I kind of think I did. These I haven't tested, but I, they really look like they're silver to me, just by the looks of them. Cool design. Kind of a sleek, modernist design. Look like they might be. I don't know. Maybe they're... I'm not sure when they're from. Maybe the 70s or 80s. Probably the 80s. Um, I really like these. I think they're super cute. They're like green enamel with these seed pearls on them. Aren't they cute? I love those. <laughs> they're older. Older clip earrings, but they're in really nice condition. You probably... I know, aren't they cute? I don't know if they're Art Deco. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what style they are, actually. Kind of puzzling. I don't know. They're neat. They're, I think they're mid-century, you know, things. This is very cute. Hey, Henry. What's going on? Uh, this is very cute. This says Estes Park 
Colorado. Walking Picker and uh, might know where that's at. Estes Park, Colorado, since he's from Colorado. That's very cute, isn't it? I never saw anything like that before. It's a little souvenir bracelet. Probably not, you know, worth a whole bunch, but it's still, still really different and really cute. It's in nice shape. My back is killing me. I went to the gym today. I don't know what the problem is, but my back's been really hurting. Wow. <laughs> not not a lot, just uh, got a sold to, today on Etsy. Did you? Would you sell more incense? This says uh, Elgin Courier News. This little ring. Elgin Courier News. It's old. It's a very old ring. See the flowers on the band there? It's adjustable. I don't know if somebody worked there. Incense sticks. I thought so. That's your specialty, huh? I don't know if someone worked there or what, but... That's a cool old ring. I doubt if I'll be able to find anything about it, but we'll see. I know, it's pretty. It was really, really dirty. Um, so I cleaned it up. I mean, it's, it, it, who knows? It might have even been like a Cracker Jack ring. Who knows? I don't know. I mean, it's definitely not real high end or whatever. This is very cute. Real tiny. Uh, this is definitely like an Art Nouveau design. It's either Art Nouveau or Edwardian. Uh, or Victorian. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm terrible at those different uh, time periods. I need to study. All I know is something's old and pretty. Uh, but this says Lion Tie Clip, uh, eight ninety five. They must have they must have bought it in ninety eight or something. That's a date on it. But that's really cool. Tiny little thing. It's very old. Very old. But I got bags full of that stuff. I think you call this like spun gold. Spun gold um, earrings. Very cute. Very delicate looking earrings. Maybe it's better if I just lay the stuff down. Instead of holding it. Now there's a whole, there was a whole bag of of earrings that were on cards, and I thought I'll probably like put these two together because they're like this is a blue pair and this is like a red or a burgundy pair, but they're neat. I like the I just I don't know I just like those, and then then this pair here is kind of red. I mean they're nothing special, but they're different. They're different. There'll be, like, stuff that I list when I don't have anything else to list because, you know, they're nothing great. Hi, Julie. You just came back from a rummage sale. You scored, but no jewelry. What'd you get? You probably got linens and things like that, didn't you? Or crafts things. What'd you get? Ah, I made it to one of your live ones. I love these videos. Hey, Marie. I'm glad you did. Welcome. What'd you get, Julie? I'm waiting for you to tell me. So these are very cute. These little stones on the corners are like like little opals. I'm sure they're not, but they're like little opals. And then these, this is like a lucite or acrylic cabochon in the middle. They're cute. They're cute. Not, you know, not real high end, but they're... They have a nice design. Yeah, nice design earrings, nice size. Pretty. This is cool. You found some sterling earrings and a pendant this morning. Oh, nice, nice purple. 
Where, where did you go to a yard sale, Lydia? I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's very, very thin. Uh, it's got like channel set. Uh, yep, well that's good. I haven't been to any since I have this giant lot to deal with. Uh, linens, I knew it. I knew you got linens and plush, plus, plus size clothing. Uh, unopened Richard Simmons deal something. Oh, I've seen Richard Simmons in the news. I've seen him in the news lately in the People magazine. See that? They're dark blue stones in this little pin. Now this is definitely like an Art Deco. Looks to me like Art Deco anyway. Um, this isn't super old or anything, but I like the design on it. I like eagles. I like eagle jewelry. Um, so that's eagle with a uh, Probably, I don't know if that's faux onyx and some rhinestones. Oh, and I pick an Apple iPad first generation for me for $79. Way to go, Henry. Hey, Fran, what's going on? I showed a good many things, Fran. You'll have to go back and watch. And then there was awards in here. There were, there were like medals. Uh... So I don't know what I'll do. It's like School of Music medal. Several different kind of medals. I don't know what to do with those. Here's a, an Avon thing in the box. Kind of a strange thing. Uh, I don't know what it, what's that supposed to be. I don't know. Um... Is that supposed to be a, a an urn, a basket, a what? But there's smelly stuff in it, as usual. So that is... I have to look that up. That'll probably be another thing that I'll... It's a genie bottle. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Kind of looks like one. Ah, uh, flower basket. Okay. Well, that'll be another thing that I'll probably wait for a long time to list. I like these earrings. They're cool. They're wood. They're big. They're clips. Rub it and see what happens. I'm scared. <laughs> you rub it. <laughs> I'll send it to you, Julie. You rub it. I don't believe in magic stuff. <laughs> uh, these are These are pretty, even though they're just... You know, they're wood with some coating on them, but I just think they're pretty neat. I like them because they're big. These said uh, opal glass earrings. Opal glass earrings. Kind of pretty. Old. So there's opal glass. What's in here? I forget. I think these are awards, too. Um, it's like a Boy Scout. No, I don't know what that is. Maybe some kind of military. Hi, Cindy. How are you? Uh, Schwinn. Oh, thing. There's another kind of a award thing. Efficient fidelity. Efficiency, honor, and fidelity. And there's another ribbon thing. I don't know. I don't know why that stuff was in the, with the jewelry, but it was. It was just kind of random. You must be outside where where I need to be gardening. I am out on my porch. Uh, I am eating M and M's. Hey, Cindy. No fair. No, that's not fair. You're not supposed to say these types of things. I lost 10 pounds. Well, it might even be 11 now. And I went to the gym today. This is cute. I like this a lot. I just wish it was, I wish it was like twice as big. If it was twice as big, I, I could get twice the money for it. But um, it's cute anyway. The bigger they are, the better the money. How's the signal? Because it says very bad connection again. 
peanut are playing. Come on, Fran. Stop it. You're not helping. <laughs> Fran, you are not helping. <laughs> peanut. Now, now you did it. Now you did it. Okay, this is cute. I think this probably was a set. Angie, your nails. Great. Thank you, whoever said that. Has anyone tried... Oh, stop! Stop it! <laughs> I'm not reading your comments then about the candy. Pretty good signal just skips every now and then. Oh, gee. Well, at least it's not, it's not pixelated, right? I hope it's not pixelated. Uh, these are cute. So I don't, I don't know when they're from exactly, but hey, you're drinking unsweet tea. That balances it out. Yes, it will. Unsweet tea is pretty good. I like it. I just had some uh, big old um, plantation mint tea. It was really good. I love that. You're here. My friend is here. No, not really. Oh, good. No pixelation. Here's the old, uh, here's, here's some of the nicer, older, old men's, old men's jewelry, or just men's jewelry. I don't know if they were old or not. I don't know if they were old men or not, <laughs> but here's old men's jewelry. Karen's at the beach. It just stops every so often. Is that colorful fabric? I'm sorry. I missed that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they were young men or old men, but here's some men's jewelry. <laughs> this is an interesting uh, tie clip with like a saber thing on it. It's marked, uh, it's marked Anson. The colorful set, would you show that again? Oh, okay. Okay, I got what you're saying. Uh, signal skipping. Hi! How are you doing, Hetty? Uh, Karen, they looked almost like raffia wrapped. Yeah, they are like that. They're like straw. That's what they were described as, straw in the lot. Did you get all that jewelry today, Angie? No, this is just still part of the big lot that I got. Um, in fact, there's... Till I get all of it shown to you, I expect it's going to be another three more YouTubes. At least, because I have a box of necklaces, and I have a box of bracelets, and I have more of just general things to show. See, this is the colorful things if you wanted to see. It's very cute for summer or the beach or something. Okay, now here's the men's. Oh, wow, it's a giant. It is. The box, I'm telling you, the box was... This is a tray table, right? This is a this is a regular tray table, like, and it was the box was about three quarters the size of a tray table, you know, big and 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 deep and everything. So it was huge. It took me days and days just to sort it. Uh, this is really cool. I like it. Needs cleaned up some, but I like it. Are those Jamberry? No, they're not. They're Essie. They are Essie stick ones. Um, this is another cool, very cool little tie clip with enameling on it. Don't know what the symbol might signify. It is very cool. Oh, my nails are the thing. <laughs> I don't know. Um, no, not Dollar Tree this time. This was, uh, these were, um, I think I got them on eBay, actually, this time. But I did have some from Dollar Tree. And the jewelry. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, this is a really cool... <coughs> Ooh, my, my picture got dark for some reason. Can you see okay? I don't know why my picture got dark. Uh... Too cute. I love to see how your nails are each video. Yes, you can see. Oh, that's good. Okay. Well, I can't see too good, but if, as long as you can see, that's okay. Here's like a watermelon rivoli in this tie. Uh, uh, tie, what do you call it? 
Ty tack. Ty tack. Shoo. Senior moment. Here's another uh, cute tie clip. I showed you that before, but I love that. That's one of my favorite. Ravoli, R-A-V-O-L-I, is the type of a stone. It's the cut of a stone. Um, they come to a point. The stone comes to a point, and the watermelon signif signifies the colors. Uh, the iridescent color of that is called the watermelon. Watermelon. Uh, the Rivoli is the type of cut of the stone, I think. But you can Google it. Make sure. Make sure I'm right on that. I just know that's what it's called. I'm not sure exactly why, but I just know that's what it's called. This is a very cute collar stay. I've never seen one like this. It has the little blue clear cabochons in the end of it. See that? Very cute. Never seen one like that before. You sure know your terminology. Oh, not, not so much. I'm faking it. I fake a lot of it. <laughs> I sound like I do. <laughs> you might look it up and you say, Oh, Angie sounded like she knew that, but she really didn't know it. <laughs> and there's the plane. I love that plane. And uh, I find that bamboo earrings do good. So there was these in there. Um, don't know, they're not signed, but they're, they're more modern, you know, probably from the 90s. These are older because they have, uh, patent applied for written on the, written on there, so they're probably, I don't know, I'm not sure, I just know they're probably older. They're cute, got the little ball at the bottom of them, cute. Um, ow. so I've been working really hard uh, these past few days and I decided today I was going to take off but I probably will do some listing after supper dang it all I can see is the chat I want to know terminology <laughs> okay you want to review Mike Mike here's the review Rivoli. Rivoli stone. Right there. That's what everybody was talking about. That's the terminology. The Rivoli stone. <laughs> it's, and it's actually watermelon Rivoli. Tie tack. There you go. There it is. Chew on that for a while. Okay, what? Now I need help. I need help. What, what about these? There's a whole bag of these glass glass pendants. I don't know what I guess they're glass or are they stone? Yeah, Mike's, Mike's a faithful watcher of my jewel, jewelry. He just comes. He's probably not really into jewelry, but he comes because he, he's my friend. Um, and he just likes to hang out with me. I don't know. I don't know. They remind me of jade. Wouldn't that be something if they were jade? Bonnie, I need your help. Bonnie. I don't know if they're glass, they're jade, what they are, but there's all those. There's that. Yeah, interesting. Jadeite, yeah. Jadeite. So, I don't know. I guess I'll take it over to the antique guy. Ask him if he knows what it is. But the problem is, he's not a real jewelry guy. He's got jewelry, but he's not a real jewelry guy. Does it? Does it, Hetty? Wow. These are just uh, odds and ends that were, you know, some of these little mother of pearl. And I wish I had the mate to this, but I don't. LOL, that's not really my department, but it does resemble jade. Okay. Okay. There is a YouTube video helping identify Jade. Oh, okay. Um, okay, uh, thank you. I'll have to look that up. Because they feel like glass. I don't know. But, I don't know. 
randomness. And here is uh, some glass. I don't know. Must not be too too great because it's Rhonda's. Jade is carved. Glass is molded. Okay. Yeah. All right. These are Rhonda's beads. They're glass. They're probably from the 80s, I guess. They they were marked eight dollars. Then they were marked four, and then they, it was marked one. So I'm thinking, you know, <laughs> not real high end. Although they are glass. And what's the deal with these? What is what is the deal with these? Um, don't think I ever saw anything like this. I mean, I guess it was somebody's craft project. I'm sure. I'm sure that'll just go in the in my big lot of stuff that I sell in a lot. My big lot of lot. These are cool. These are old. Um, these are glass. Uh, I don't know if they're... Looks like buttons. Yeah, it is buttons. It's buttons all together and... And, yeah. You could sell the buttons. I guess I could. I don't know if they're that old. Oh, the wind's blowing. Why would the wind want to blow now? Why would that want to happen? This is very, very long. It's like a flapper necklace. Super long. Super long flapper necklace. Glass. So, I don't know if that would be good or not. Hey, wonder if any... Nah. No, none of them are baker like I can tell you that. They're, uh... I don't even think they're lucite. I think they're just plastic. That's what I think they are, plastic. And these be these um that I thought maybe were real, I I I put them to my teeth several times and I don't think they are now. They're pretty smooth, although they're they're irregular, but they're pretty smooth, so I don't think they're I don't think they're real. Besides that, they're like a pink blush. Are pink blush pearls real? I don't know much about pearls. Okay, bye, Marie. You look forward to watching. Okay. Thanks for coming. Glad you made it. These are kind of cute. They're uh, plastic, but they're cute. I like them. Kind of iridescent. Mirror-like. Those are beautiful. I like the uh, clasp on them. It's marked something on there. What's it marked? Let me see if I can read what that's marked. Nope. Can't read it. Letters. Just some letters. I love the iridescence. I do too, and I like that they're flat. They're flat. Uh, yeah, I don't know what... Mellow, young lady. Hi! How are you? And then there is all of these. How are you doing? <laughs> what are you up to today? Are you doing something in the woods? How's the mushrooms? I have to be careful about the mushrooms here because my dog uh, had to have her stomach pumped because she ate a mushroom. It was the kind, you know, take a little trip mushroom, so... That wasn't a good mushroom to eat. Uh, these, I don't know what they are. Hey, Maggie Doodle. How are you doing? I know. That was Desi. That was when she was just a puppy. And, and now we go through the yard every day and just pick a million of those kind of mushrooms. And we just have to just watch her like a hawk that she doesn't eat anything. But she's a lot better than she used to be. Yeah, there's all these kind of random things, too. So, I don't know what I'll do. That'll probably be lauded, too. I don't know what this is. I don't know what it is. Some kind of a little... Here's a patch. Uh, Central Illinois Gourd Dance Club. What in the world is a gourd dance? Anybody know what a gourd dance is? <laughs> I don't believe I ever did a gourd dance. I know I did some dances. 
I know I did some really good dances, but I don't think I did a gourd dance. I look, that is no good. <laughs> gourd dance. Uh, here is a, an Indian craft, Native American. Ha ha, I lived in Illinois for 12 years and you never heard of that. <laughs> a gourd dance. <laughs> that just strikes my funny bone. Uh, here's an, the Apache Tear Story, the Indian legend. So there's that pin with that thing on it. So that, that about rounds it out. A club at that, LOL, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a club. <laughs> oh my goodness, everybody. So there's my yard, and there's some purple petunias. And there's the, the box that's just about empty. Well, I didn't get down in there, did I? I didn't get underneath that. Hmm. What time is it? It's 5.06. We've been on 36 minutes. Do you think, do you want, you want to delve into here further or not? This says, uh, Sixth National Convention, Daughters of, you do? This is from 1947. Yeah, go on, dig it out. Okay. All right. Yep, okay. Uh, delegate of 1947. This is mostly the men's stuff in here. Might have, I might have gone and shown you some of this stuff before. This is one of these copper uh, bell rings. Uh, I have to uh, clean it up. I've had these before, sold them before. It's a bell copper ring. Just needs cleaned up. Um, probably won't last too long since since now I am holding the the phone. Let me uh, clear a space up here on the table and 